What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another late night in the Brew Lab with me, Lone Fox, your brewmaster in chief. And tonight in the Brew Lab, I'm still coming at you from the early access event. Um, thank you again to Wizards of the Coast for inviting me. I've got about six hours left to this God account. I'm trying to do my best to showcase all of the new cards and mechanics from March of the Machine so that I can uh, get your guys brewing juices flowing so without further ado let's jump into tonight's brew simply called gruel sores <laughs> not my best name yet must admit uh but this is a fun one guys i mean we, we get to play with so many new cards there's only the bolt the brotherhood's end and the stomper that are old the rest are all new cards so i think we'll just dive straight in uh stri stride in straight in uh obliterating bolt just because exile's good right now there's a lot of stuff that comes back that you don't want to kind of have coming back and four damage is nice and creature or planeswalker also nice so going with bolt maybe we'll swap it for something new there's a couple of options in the like two mana red <clears throat> uh instant speed uh no in uh, yeah instant speed stuff from march of the machines Volcanic Spite, three damage creature, Planeswalker, or Battle. I'm honestly thinking we're going to have to go for this one. Yeah, okay. We're swapping instant brew labification. We get to play with even more new cards. Um, so the reason why I like this is uh, threefold. First of all, we're, we've got lots of uh, battles in the deck that we want to flip. So this one can do three damage to creature, Planeswalker, or Battle. Instant speed. Instant speed I like because of the one battle here, um, the invasion of Ixalan. Its uh, backside has uh, the belligerent Regisaur, which we often get. It's easy to flip this one. And uh, it gains indestructible until end of turn if you've cast a spell. And I didn't have anything instant speed in the deck. Now we've got uh, Volcanic Spite that we can cast and our belligerent Regisaur, for example, would survive uh, a sweeper, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> um, the added I mean wow I, I can't believe I kind of skimmed over this card I had it used against me now that I read the full thing you can also filter you know discard something you don't need draw something and it's not even into your graveyard it goes back into your library which is kind of where we want our stuff in this deck so okay very happy with this brew labification um, then we've uh, already touched upon the backside, the belligerent Regisaur, but the front side, the invasion of Ixalan is great. Two mana, ETB, look at the top five cards of your library. You can reveal a permanent, put it into your hand, rest in the bottom of your library in random order. So it's going to help you make your land drops, find the next threat that you need for next turn, whatever. Just a solid little consistent two drop, like when you've got nothing better going on. And considering the fact that um, our entire deck is geared towards flipping um battles quickly it it, it happens uh more often than you'd think and then uh the belligerent regisaur is sick uh really really nice uh, i've been having so much fun with this one guys I, sorry if i sound like i'm gushing but it's been a long day and this is like of the last like three four decks this is the one that's really like stood out to me i hope the gameplay footage matches all this hype uh but the second battle that we have is the invasion of akoria um this one's freaking amazing as well. Not only can you just play it on turn two, you know, like a turn when you, you, you know you can just attack and flip it, uh, then fine. But otherwise, you know, it becomes a pretty nice mana sink. You can like pay six mana, go dig up uh, a four drop from your graveyard, library, or such your library and or graveyard. So not hand, but still onto the battlefield you can go you know find at some you know late points in the game when you got loads of mana you can just go tutor up uh the biggest creature in your deck that you want um and then on its backside you get zilthora the apex of icoria it's a finisher in the sense that um well first of all it's just an 8-8 reach which is pretty cool surprised it doesn't have trample but uh, uh for each non-human creature you control you may have that creature assign its combat damage at the as though it it is weren't blocked do you understand does it make sense so it's essentially like trample um it's like kind of like giving everything trample if that 
if that makes any sense. So, one of our finishes. <laughs> I'm taking a long time going through these because they're, they're complicated and, and uh, nuanced. But um, the rest is just good removal. We've got uh, Brotherhood's End for sweeping up those little pesky little token decks and things. Uh, Nahiri is amazing. Not only is it another spell in our deck that can target the same things as Volcanic Spite, we can do um, Creature, Planeswalker, all battle, so easily helping us flip these when we need to. Um, you can also just take out a Shield Red, and um, if you take out something smaller, you can also use it sometimes for card advantage. Uh, you can exile, you may exile cards from the top of your library. First, you look at them, then you may exile it. If if you see that you can't cast it, don't. Uh, you don't want to you know waste waste cards. Uh, then, Topiary Stomper is going to help us get to seven lands, which, uh, you know, is the point at which it becomes active, and funnily enough is when all of our haymakers are costed at, so just fantastic. Uh, and it happens to be a dinosaur, so I like that it just goes along with the theme. Um, Rampaging Raptor. So, okay. One way of flipping battles quickly. Way two of flipping battles quickly. Now we're on to way three. The Rampaging Raptor. F uh, f 4 mana, 4-4, four, four, Trample Haste. Can be pumped up with excess mana. Gets plus 2, plus 0 until end of turn. However many times you want to do that, 4 mana. Uh, and then um, when it deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to either a Planeswalker or a battle that opponent protects. So kind of reminding me of... Uh, oh my goodness, I can't think. Questing Beast. Uh, 4 mana, 4-4, four, four, Trample Haste. Uh, no, I think it, Questing Beast didn't have Trample, but it had Death Touch. Anyway, just all this obs ridiculous text box. Um, and, and the same thing, you know, you go for the opponent, but then the damage gets done to their planeswalkers, their battles. Amazing. And then we got another way of um, helping us wipe out battles, the Rampaging Geoderm. Now, the dinosaur has trample, has haste. Um, whenever you attack, target attacking creature gets plus one, plus one. So if you're not attacking into a battle, you're just attacking... The opponent then you can just give it the plus one plus one until end of turn and it becomes a four four trample haste great just like your rampaging ramp raptor but if you're attacking a battle instead then instead of putting plus one plus one it, you put a plus one plus one counter on it instead so another way of again helping us uh, flip these guys on the quick uh, and that's all gonna keep the opponent and us occupied until at which point we get to seven mana and then we can do some bursted stuff we got three copies of vitali the primal conqueror uh, everybody's new reanimation target of choice. Uh, when it ETBs, each player exile cards from the top of their library until they exile a non-land card. You may cast any number of spells from among that non-land cards exiled this way without paying their mana cost. Anything. It can be another Itali. And it's from your library and the opponent's. So you can cast a free Invoke Despair, a free whatever, whatever you want off of the opponent's library that, that you know that you hit on and i like hitting another one off your own library because then you just do it again oh my goodness so 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 freaking nice um yeah can't gush enough about Italian. and then if you can ever flip the thing it costs 10 mana to do so but who knows then you get an 11 11 trample indestructible and it deals 11 toxic counters it just needs to get through for combat damage you're pretty sure i didn't have any 11 is going to be able to do that and then you just put 11 to uh poison counters the opponent loses the game instantly uh so that's that's a, a win con <clears throat> and then sneaky one of ancient imperious or we may end up just going two and two honestly because uh, it's pretty damn nice, but I just wanted to showcase it tightly more. But uh, we may end up just going two and two. Um, another seven mana dinosaur. It's got um, Convoke, Trample, and War 2. And it enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it for each creature that convoked it. I've seen this thing enter the battlefield as a 10 10, a 12 12, whatever. Just bursted. And that's the deck. <laughs> uh, nothing much more to add. I've done enough talking. We've got just a couple of. Um, legendaries and all the duels that gruel has access to in the in the mana base let's just jump straight into some games and hopefully bump into some uh, fellow content creators took a sweet game off malone earlier but then he beat me again uh, i'm like i want the the decider ham hocks 42 don't think i know ham hocks Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's doable. You can 
looking like some uh, Jund. Might just be Domain. Looks like Domain to me. There's a lot of like weird graveyard stuff going on. Like a lot of weird graveyard stuff going on. With lands. Oh, and the set is, yeah, it's okay. So it's definitely Domain. This is pretty scary. But it's okay. We are having fun. Uh, huh? Hey it's the blue corner making an entry. I was not expecting that. Oh my goodness. It's quite a sizey boy. I wish I had the mana. Kill this and attack. Unfortunately, I do. Aha! I had a feeling. Put one stomper away. Now we can stomper and invasion of Ixen and swing into it with, or we can go Raptor invasion. No, we can't. Still not seven. I'm not saying no to that. <clears throat> Swing at the opponent with this one. And play another. Ooh. That's that's danger, danger. That's a big boy. Oh, Itali! Oh, Itali! Land. Let's go find the land with the invasion. Find the land. Then he's gonna block. Ali incoming. It's almost like lands matters. Nanigans with Slogurk and definitely some domainy type things. I'm I'm surprised we haven't been hit by one of those one mana at this point domain things. I can never remember the name of. Ooh! First time seeing Ren. At least tap for any man of any color. Oh, that was stuck. Past the walls of this realm. Okay. I think we just slam an Atali here, surely. Atali number two. Free slogan. Out of which one I keep. Uh, whoop. Whoop. Turn. My soul. 
ends. Now we just get hit with a sweeper. <clears throat> there isn't one that this color would run. No, there's no black. First. Eight. Dare you? How dare you? That's cool. this for six. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. need one more land and we can go fetch up another freaking whatever we want but dinos baby freaking dinos Hawks 42 for being a good sport and allowing that one to go through. Great showing for game one. <laughs> kind of just doing exactly what we're supposed to do, so very happy with that one. All right. Game number two. These are, as you know, have been a little bit shorter format. So just want to like put the deck out and then. Uh, you know, we'll we'll do refining and version twos of all the ones that show the most promise, and as the meta develops, we'll we'll figure out which the best uh, decks are to play and which are the decks to beat. There's always that one that's like, ah, god, so OP. Aha, Jack Rose. Not the first time we've crossed paths today. I'm um, also not sure where you are from, my friend. Okay. Green sauce. Yes. And looks to be some sort of. Um, Abzan Legends. It's pretty scary. There's that new one of these like collab cards, as I like to call it. Oh. Lisa no bueno. Well, let's do this. Why we run the freaking Oh no Oops Misplay 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 Focus
It's got the cut down, whatever, go for the throat. I'll just Brotherhood's end. That, hmm, what's that? Ah, oh, fourth three trample. Don't forget, I can sweep with Brotherhood's end. We'll probably just block it. That's okay. We get another red sore. What does the opponent get? We've got the mana for the haymakers. Now we just need to get them. That's not too exciting, honestly. That feels so good. Oh my lordy lord. Does this deck feel good, guys? Um. Whatever. Just having fun. Having an insane amount of fun with it. I wish we could go longer. I think we've done it. We've done the thing. I need to move on. I'm running out of time. And I've got a couple more brews that I want to shoot. So jumping back in with my final thoughts and overall review. If you're into tribal, if you like big dinosaurs, if you like gruel, you're welcome. This is a brew for you. Having lots of fun. Stands up so far to the meta of this little micro meta from the early access very nicely. Um, the removal's great. I, I, that last minute brew labification, just wow, amazing. Uh, there's nothing much else that I need to add other than if you're looking for something fun to do on day one and you're into dinosaurs, as I said, then you should probably be looking at something like this. Um, but that is going to be it for this uh, short format brew tech. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like comment and subscribe i will see you all in the next one and until then this is lone fox from the brew lab signing out peace y'all